I want to talk to you. Not now, later. No, now. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us for a brand new episode of Hot Talk. Hi, so today I'm going to be talking about Shalazion. My name is Dr. Persa Jalala. I'm a California board certified optometrist. So what is Shalazion? Well, we have a bunch of oil glands in our lids that produce the oil for our tear film. Sometimes these glands can get clogged up and they can cause infectious and non-infectious bumps. So these non-infectious bumps, they're called Shalazion. They're a bit red, um, non-tender, a little swollen around the lids. These can be caused by the infectious bumps, which are the hordeolum, um, can be caused by poor lid and lash hygiene, some skin conditions as well, such as ocular rosacea, um, dermatitis. First thing to remember is do not pop them, okay? Um, do not pop them at home. They can It can spread and cause some more problems over time as well. So there are four ways I recommend treating the chalation. Number one way to treat this is good lid and lash hygiene. So if you wear eye makeup, you want to make sure to fully take off your eye makeup before you go to bed. I recommend micellar water for this. Hypochlorous acid spray is also a really good ingredient to help clear out all the specific debris around your lids and lashes. Also, contact lens hygiene is super important um, to make sure you know we don't get infections and to help with the um, health of the lids as well. Second way of treating the chalazion is warm compresses. So when we do have a chalazion, um, the oil in these glands are really solid, like butter consistency. So you do the warmth to help melt the oil in these glands so it can come out a little better, like olive oil consistency. So with the warm compresses, you want to make sure to use um, a heatable warm compress where you can get one from the doctor's office, your eye doctor's office, or from the pharmacies. So normally I recommend around 10 to 15 minutes um, to have that on your eye or however long your eye care provider recommends. And what's key after the, the warm compress is to do a gentle vertical lid massage. And um, you can do this with clean fingers or like a Q-tip and that does a really good job at releasing all the oil from the glands. So the third way I recommend treating the Shalazion is with pharmaceuticals. Your eye doctor might recommend um, some medications for you, especially if the lid and lash hygiene and the warm compresses don't work. So there's topical medications and oral medications such as doxycycline, which has a really good anti-inflammatory property in it. Fourth way of treating is with in-office treatments. So with the in-office treatments, there's non-invasive and invasive. So with the non-invasive, there's intense pulse light, IPL, or more invasive, which is more of the last resort would be a steroid injection um, or excision and drainage. So I hope you learned more about Shalazion and your eye health. I hope this helped and if you have any questions make sure you see your eye care provider.